Alright, so this is uh, worksheet 3, limiting reaction, and I'm going to go over problem number 5. So this is going to be problem number 5, and before we can start, we need to write a balanced equation. So let's read the problem, and it says oxygen gas, so that's going to be O2, uh, is going to be in a sealed container with hydrogen gas, which is going to be H2 and they're going to produce water vapor. So let's write the balanced equation. So we're going to have um, hydrogen plus oxygen. Don't forget those are diatomic. And we're going to make H2O. So let's balance this. Well, if we have one of those, we're going to need two of those. And if we have four of those, we're going to need two of those. So that's, that's the first thing. And then we have to decide who's limiting an excess. So who's going to be extra and who's going to be the thing we get rid of completely. And you'll notice that the problem is in grams. So let's uh, solve the gram problem by using our periodic table. And we have 22.4 grams of oxygen. And I know that every time I have 32 grams of O2, I will have one mole of O2. So take a minute and pause right now if you need to and um, get the mol moles of that. Now the other one you want to do is you want to do um, grams of hydrogen. So I have 2.50 grams of hydrogen and I know that every time I have 2.02 .02 grams I'm going to get one mole of H2. So now pause it and see what you get for those two answers. So I'm going to pause and give you a minute to do that. Alright, so hopefully you've done that and you've gotten 0 0.700 moles of oxygen and then you've got 0 0.12, excuse me, that's in the wrong spot, let me fix that. Alright, you got 1.24 moles of hydrogen. Okay, so now what we need to do is just choose one and you're going to convert to the other and then compare the numbers. So let's go ahead and do the oxygen. So I'm going to take the oxygen and I'm going to take this number and I'm going to just do a direct uh, mole ratio using the balanced equation and I'm going to go to hydrogen. So uh, why don't you set that up, pause it, set it up and see if you have the same setup as me. Alright, so using the balanced equation, we're going to take the oxygen we have and we're going to convert it to water. I'm sorry, hydrogen. And I know that every time I have one O2, I'm going to need two hydrogen. So I'm just going to multiply this by two and I'm going to get 1.40 moles of hydrogen. Okay, that's how much I can get from the oxygen, but wait a minute, I don't have that much hydrogen. I only have this much. And so I've just found my limiting. That means I can't make that much because this is the limiting. So from now on we're going to use this to do our calculations because the oxygen is what we would call excess. So this is our excess so we're not going to use it to do the calculations and we are going to have extra of it at the end. Alright, so let's go over the next thing. Alright, so let's just set up a BCA. Now, I know some of you don't use these, but you know, we have oxygen, we have 0 0.700. Excuse me, that might be a little bit messy there. Let me fix that. 0 0.700 for the hydrogen, which we know we need two of. I'm just going to put it above the equation. We have 1.24 of that. And the question is, how much water are we going to make? All right. So um, I know that I have zero right now. I know this is the limiting, so that's the one I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to get rid of all of that, and I'm going to be end up with zero because it's my limiting. All right, the question is, how much oxygen do I need? Um, if that's asked for, in this particular case it's not, but I'll go ahead and, and show you the math for that. But let's figure out how much oxygen water I can make first. Okay, so we'll worry about the oxygen later. 
All right, so I know that every time I have uh, 1.24 moles of H2, I'm going to get 2 moles of H2 and 2 moles of H2O. All right, which means I'm going to be able to make 1.24 moles of H2O. So I'm going to add 1.24 here, and I'm going to make 1.24 of the water. All right? And then what about the oxygen? All right, let's go back to the hydrogen again. Uh, we actually uh, have 1.24 moles of hydrogen, and I know that every time I have two hydrogen, I'm going to need one oxygen. So I'm just going to uh, basically be dividing this in half, and if you divide that, you'll get point six um, two um, let's see point six two let me just do that real quick all right and then um, if you want the three sig figs you need to add this so that's moles of o2 all right so that's how much you need Okay, well, you have extra because it's the excess. So we're going to go down by 0 0.620, and when you do that math, you're going to end up with you still have 0 0.080 moles of it. Okay, and that's your excess. Okay, now the last thing you need to calculate is the, um, is the grams. It wants to know how... Um, the mass of the water formed. Now we already did the last part, which is calculate the moles of excess. So um, there's my math right here, but I'll do it on the next page. Let's just erase this and do it again. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna um, go to the next slide and we'll we'll just add it in there. Okay. So I have um, 1.24 moles of hydrogen, and we've already determined for every two moles of hydrogen. I'm going to get 2 moles of water. So that means I'm going to make 1.24 moles of water. And then all I have to do is figure out what's the mass of that. Well, I know 1.2 moles of water is, um, for every 1 mole, it's 18.0 grams. So I'm just going to multiply those two. So take a minute, pause it, and do the multiplication yourself, and then compare your answer to mine. All right, did you take the time to do that math? And when I did it, I got 22.3 grams of water was produced. And uh, now let's um, check and see how many moles of oxygen would be left. So if you go back, um, we um, had 0 .700 moles of oxygen, and then we calculated that we need to, um, for every uh, 1.24 of hydrogen, we're going to get two hydrogens for every one oxygen, and we discovered that was 0.62 moles of O2 used. So if we subtract that, 0.62 moles, we get that there is 0 0.080 moles of oxygen left left over. All right, so to summarize, we have this much left over, and that is our excess, which is why we have extra of it, and we have used up all of the hydrogen, and we have made this many moles of water, which we determined was 22.3 grams of water. All right, so hopefully that explains how to do limiting excess. Go, go through this and then try to do number six by yourself.